Welcome back to KM Builds, and today is part two of getting my MX-5 or Miata ready for the 2024 show season. So it may be uh, a little bit all over the place because it was meant to be one video, as I mentioned in the last one. Um, but in today's video, we're going to be getting a fresh splitter on, which needs to be wrapped. Uh, I'm going to drop the oil just for the uh, long journeys. And we got the new roof box. As you can see, the old roof box is off, so we have already test fitted and started wrapping the roof box so that'll all be in today's video if you missed part one where we redid my boot build so that looks a lot fresher now make sure you go back and check it out i will put the uh, link in the description but let's just crack on finishing getting this ready so the first thing i'm going to tackle is the new roof box i've kind of half wrapped it at the minute because i'm trying to see if i like the uh, shape of this new one so far i'm kind of liking it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to wrap the rest of it and hopefully it works well So just taking all the plastics out of the uh, rivets as they'll probably go on afterwards. What I'm going to do next is remove the stickers, try and remove them as good as possible as we might want to put them on at the end possibly. So uh, yeah, I'm going to get the stickers off. So I'm by no means a professional wrapper, but I do as good a job as we can in a place like this unit. We can't avoid much uh, dust, but we can avoid as much as possible. So the next thing to do is to clean it all. It's ideal to use some things like tar and glue remover if you've got excessive uh, glue from stickers. But then a bit of isopropic alcohol on a rag to give it a wipe over. So I'm going to be using knifeless as I am going to wrap it in a few separate pieces. Luckily there are quite a few hard lines which I can run knifeless to. So there's going to be a piece across the back top section here. And then I'm going to wrap the sides individually as well. Trying to um, hide the joins as much as possible on things like these hard edges. So clean it, knifeless. So you may be wondering what knifeless is. So knifeless is basically a tape which has a string or wire in the middle of it. You wrap over the top of the tape and then you basically pull the wire through the wrap and it cuts a nice clean edge without having to use a knife. If you use things like a knife, you might cut through the wrap and end up damaging the paint underneath. So I've run out of uh, knifeless the other day to wrap the other side of the roof box. So I've got that on order. So as soon as that comes, I'll just finish wrapping that. So I've moved the car ready to drop the oil. I'm gonna leave it as it is because I wanna keep it as flat as possible to drop the oil. I have been leaving it running for a little bit because is ideal to get all the oil out as it thins the oil a little bit. I may then have to jack it up and lift it on to axle stands to get higher to take the splitter off. Um, but I'll see how much room there is when uh, when we get down there. So first thing I'm gonna do is drop the oil. The car had to go on axle stands because I couldn't quite reach the sump plug. Just take this as an opportunity to just inspect the underside of your car, maybe give it a clean if there's any oil leaks or anything like that. So I've dropped the oil and put a fresh copper washer on the sump plug and put that back in. So while this is up in the air, I'm going to get the splitter off. So that's held with just uh, M6 nuts and bolts right the way across and washers. So you can see lots of uh, M6 nuts and bolts. So just going to undo them and it should come down. I've got my old underglow, but that doesn't work anymore. So I'm going to get the get it off and then what I'm also going to do is use the this splitter to transfer the holes onto the new splitter because it fits the same. But I have got to wrap the new splitter yet, so let's get this one off. So that's the old splitter off, so we can now move on to wrapping the new one. So it was a little bit more difficult than we expected, but we got there in the end. Wrapping is quite difficult, but it just takes a lot of patience and a lot of understanding how your wrap works. 
Some wraps are more difficult to use than others. We tend to use KPMF, which is fairly easy to use, but you just gotta learn the wrap that you're using. New splitter is now wrapped, so we then use the old splitter to transfer some of the holes onto the new one. We did have to drill some uh, extra holes into the bumper as well, but that wasn't too much of an issue. The biggest issue we had was lining up the new splitter onto the bumper. I did have to get Matt to pull the ends of the bumper just to make sure everything lined up correctly. That's the split that I want. It was a bit more of a pain than I was expecting. I drew a drill a few uh, new holes and the old one had kind of shaped to the bumper, whereas this had to be pulled into shape and which you put, might have seen on the time lapse. But it's all ceramic coated, all tidy. It looks way cleaner than uh, the previous one as it doesn't have the vents and it just looks cleaner, fresh, uh, ready for the shows. So next thing now, it's going to be putting oil in. So the car is now done for this video. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a set of bucket seats I like so far, but if I do manage to find any, then I will do that in a future video. Uh, looks pretty good. The roof box looks uh, really good as well, and the split is looking a lot cleaner. I'll try and get some better clips of the boot, but we are currently at our first event of the year. We're at Slammed UK's Lowe's and Lattes. So there's quite a lot of cars. These are, we're just out there. Uh, out the back at the minute because with the music we don't have the copyright so what i'm going to do now is i'll just get some clips and b-rolls of the car and let us know what you think what's up is down what's left is right chasing stars and holding you i can't see the end but we'll see it through So that is it for today's video um hopefully you like the car i think it looks a lot cleaner now with a new split down a smaller roof box for this uh slam uk lows and lattes we have got a video on this so i'll drop the video link in the description so we'd appreciate it if you could leave any up feedback um and maybe subscribe but we will catch you in the next one